Okay, guys. <clears throat> Serotonin. And we are back with another video. Now, yesterday when I was going through my Chicago tours, we had a look at uh, this building called the Jewelers Building right here. And uh, it features this thing at the top, which I have been sort of referring to as healing rooms. And, um,. After I ended up finished finishing, sorry, with the um, the video yesterday, I I really got very taken by this building and this thing at top, which is apparently called a cupola. A cupola. So this is a 35 East Wacker, um, also known as the Jewelers Building, but apparently not to be confused with the Jewelers Building. Okay, which is apparently another building. So we're going to have a little bit of a look at both of these because there seems to be something going on with these two buildings. Anyway, we're going back to 35 East Wacker here. So one of the reasons I wanted to bring up this building was <clears throat> it involves a story that really, really caught my attention when I was doing the boat tour. And the story is that there is an elevator inside this building that is large enough to house a car or more than one car and people would drive into this building specifically people related to Al Capone and his uh, business and they would be um, they would drive into this garage this sorry this uh, elevator from Lower Wacker and they would be whisked up apparently with jewels or I don't even know what other terrible things they might have on them and they would be whisked up to one of these floors up here. I imagine up here or up here. Um, and yeah, so here we go. This is this is the this is the stuff here. So 35 East Wacker, also known as the Jewelers Building. I really don't want to make this a long video, so I'm gonna try and do my best at keeping this short. So it was designed by Joachim Sori, G. Gavier, and Frederick P. Dinkelberg. Now I am just I'm getting into these names. I think I talked about Thomas Fuller in uh, my video yesterday, who is Canadian architect, apparently from originally from Bath in England. And um, so, yeah, this Frederick P. Dinkelberg, I believe, is a similar person to Thomas Fuller. And what is very interesting here, so I decided to click on here, it was very, very interesting. So he, they always have these sort of questionable pasts. But look at this. He worked for the Fuller Company. You click on the Fuller Company, the George A. Fuller Company. And apparently this guy was an incredible skyscraper, uh, you know, builder architect as well. So, and you know what's really interesting? There's no mention of Thomas Fuller in here. Meet, maybe, you know, how many Fullers that are completely unrelated to each other have basically built up entire cities across uh from lakes from each other and i'm sure if we dug deep we would only find one little etching of george a fuller fuller something is what i believe anyway there you go so 35 east wacker okay 14 years building had a car lift that served the first 24 23 floors and facilitated safe transfers for jewelry merchants Currently, the French American Chamber of Commerce. Ooh, commerce people. Mm -hmm. Very worrisome. Architect Helmut Jan is atop the building inside the dome, which is once a restaurant called the Stratosphere Club. You can find a bit of information. We'll sh see a bit up here. Erroneously said to be run by Al Capone. There you go. <laughs> It says here in reality the stratosphere club was opened in 1937 long after he was imprisoned and too late for the building to have been an illegal speakeasy and we all know that every head of every organization is merely a puppet so that's a joke the building is currently being renovated with the facade being maintained now i love this the building is currently being renovated with the facade being maintained and just in that, we're going to have a little look at the word facade. Facade, the face of a building, especially the principal face. An artificial or deceptive front. 
ideological slogans that were a facade for geopolitical power struggles or the facade that somebody actually built that building whose name was Dinkelberg. So there you go. Now, oh, and then it's in all kinds of, you know, very interesting shows. There it is on the map. And we're going to talk about this clock in a bit. Okay, so let's keep going. So it has its own website. And one of the things, so I was trying to look for pictures. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, you can lease. Yeah, policy and procedures. Yeah, services. Trash removal and recycling. Janitorial, HVAC, lots of different stuff. Telecommunications, services, security. After hours access was the first thing that came up. Building access, deliveries, all kinds of interesting things, right? Amenities. Now, I thought this was very interesting. Now, I am not a technological person. I do have a smartphone, but I don't like any of that kind of stuff. It just it just creeps me out. Uh, so you've probably heard me mention the word creepy a lot. Um, yeah, I've become aware of, of you know, the system. Anyway, uh, one of the things that I find very creepy is an app called Ritual. And this app is something to do with food delivery and yeah if you're paying attention to stuff that's going on in the um alternative american media there's there's some interesting connections there so all i'm gonna say is this building is talking about after hours access trash removal and recycling and one of the amenities that they have on here conference center fitness center parking and ritual and when you go on there it is indeed the app but even still I found that incredibly creepy. Moving on. Oh, that's our music. Okay. So here, the Stratosphere Lounge. I googled this. And here we are. I wanted to see the interior. So this is Helmut Jan's interior. And uh, all I'm getting is this, you know, fish eye. Um, Strauss. You are just very exciting. So we're going to turn you down. Uh, oh, it's a beaut. So, excuse me. So here we are, more interior shots. Um, and we're going to get into a lot of this stuff here. Okay. But you don't get a whole lot. Okay. Here's some more exterior, some close-ups. I mean, this is just so beautiful. There's so much in here. Isn't it marvelous? And F and P? F and D? Frederick Dinkelberg, no doubt. I mean, I'm sure that's where they got it from. Lions, 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 sunflowers. Now, we, I think we've talked about the fleur de lis being, you know, the energy. I'm wondering, like Mount Maria and then the energy. I'm wondering if it's also like a fascist design I've been wondering a bit ah because it is kind of tied together now here we go see we can see someone in the interior now this is what really look at okay so this now I'm imagining when people were in this room the stratosphere room look at how the lines I mean it's just pulling the energy of the room I mean that's a toroidal you're inside the Taurus right there right that's it. It's so beautiful. Okay, that's as close as we're going to get to that one. It's a lovely shot, though, and uh, this is totally my style of printing. You know, kind of bleeding edge there. Okay, so this clock has come up a little bit um, when I was originally looking at this up, and um, so I felt this is super important to show. It's, first of all, it's just it's very beautiful. And it's a jeweler's clock. You get the extra golden, you know, the golden jewels at the at the four corners, right? And of course, here you have uh, your eagles atop your um, atop your uh, your clock there, and a little antique attack, and here and here in the in there as well, and very beautiful. And here is it a little bit further away. Right. Um, I'm a little bit bummed out. I can't get closer. This is Father Time. We're going to get in there. And of course, Father Time is um, connected with Saturn and um, 
and Kronos and Sat Satan and there's the hourglass and there's the scythe and the big wings. So there you go. And time written underneath. Antiquitech. You know, beautiful. And there's a ladder going up. Um, oh man. I mean, I can't get closer to this one. Look at that. It's part of the same building. Makes you want to cry. Oh, uh, sorry about that. That is something for something different. Beautiful. Um, okay, this is um, apparently one of the floors on the inside. It's not the cupola, but apparently in a part of the interior. Okay, continuing on. Now these, I love these. So these to me are like, again, some kind of like dome. This, this might be the real healing room. I'm not entirely sure. But there's definitely some exquisite properties going on here. And uh, something interesting is happening there underneath. Hmm. Fashies? All the way up? I don't know. Lovely. I just love these shots. I just really wanted to share. So beautiful. Here's the clock again. Some more beautiful features of the... Uh, of the building. Kronos there at the top. I think we're coming to the close-up. Okay. Oh! Okay, so these are these cupolas, and we're going to get, oh, just the tiniest bit closer. Um, now, some there's some movie with Jackie Chan. I keep coming across these set scenes with this thing apparently crashes to the ground in the movie. Um, oh, so beautiful. This looks like this was taken from a helicopter. See the lights going on in there? So this is this white room, and they call it a white terracotta tile. I don't even know terracotta came in white. But there's still we're still not seeing up here, right? Because this is the toroidal room. So we still haven't really seen what's happening here. Okay. And we're missing something, I think. We're missing something there. Um, there's Kronos. And, okay, I don't know if this is in the inside, but this came up. This could be in Macy's. I'm not entirely sure. But I just wanted to bring up this ceiling is very similar to a ceiling in a church, in a cathedral, in Montreal, that's just painted blue with, uh, oops, um, with golden stars all over it. Okay, so, um... To get up to the Stratosphere Lounge, um, you're supposed to be be able to go up in a birdcage elevator. And this is what I believe is the birdcage elevator. I searched for that and I found this image coming up twice. So I hope that's it. If anybody knows that it, it is or isn't, then let me know. Um, okay, this I found very interesting. So this is a pattern that features quite heavily on the building. And I thought this was just very interesting because to me, this just looks very Egyptian. Oops. Um, this looks very serpentine, right? Kind of like a flowing snake meeting another snake with either a Mount Maru or Cleopatra's Needle, something going on there in between. Yeah, very interesting. This is another feature. There's apparently two clocks or perhaps, I don't know. But this came up as a feature for one of the clocks on the jeweler's building. So, it is not the same as the previous clock. So, I'm not entirely sure what's happening there, but I'm going to include it. And then, this has nothing to do with the jeweler's building whatsoever. But when I started looking up clocks, this one came up. And it's so beautiful. I know peacocks are something interesting going on with peacocks. And the Tartarians or the Anunnaki and... Um, I know NBC has stolen um, part of that logo, and there's all kinds of really interesting, beautiful pattern going on here. And there is the urn, and I believe I've talked a little bit, um, very briefly, about they like fruit and animals, um, and this sort of overflowing horn of plenty. That's kind of their style. Um, and here we go, as uh, the first Google. Um, sorry, DuckDuckGo search that I did. 
for today's presentation. Anyway, um, I think that's really it about this. Um, while I have you though, I did want to talk very briefly about something else that has come up. And, um, okay, what it is, is this. Um, okay, so in here, um, the Chicago pictures that I did, the water cribs. Okay, do you remember how I brought up, hang on a second, let me see if I can find it. Um, it's a close-up, here we go. Okay, this thing here, okay. I was, like, referring to it as a chimney and stuff. Okay, so... Okay, going back over here, um, okay, we're just going to go to here, and we're going to go to the um, Onion Dome um, building in Chicago, okay, and I'm going to just bring up a picture, oh, Jesus, beautiful, beautiful, okay, um, I just, wow, 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 St. Petersburg, okay, let me just see if I can find a better picture, um, Okay, we'll just start. We'll just go with this one because it's the first one that came up. Sorry, guys. Okay, see this up here? Um, this, uh, we had a look at it in my presentation yesterday. Okay, this is apparently the dirigible. This is the blimp mooring mast. So now when we go back to here, now I'm wondering... Is this a dirigible mooring mast? Right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, um, thanks for joining me again for another presentation. I'm going to try and DJ my way out of this again and see if I can do this nicely. Might not be able to, but hey. Um, here's fingers crossed, guys. Okay. Have a great night and God bless. And thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. See ya.